Okay, now we're gonna make a Shih Tzu or a Yorkie little dog out of one two sixty and a little scrap piece um, for the eyes. And here's these two. One's sitting and one's not sitting. I just didn't draw the bow on here yet, but the bow's on this one. So this is what we're gonna make. And for this, you just need whatever color you want, your Shih Tzu or your Yorkie. Normally I would make it white, but I'm gonna make it blush colored so you can see what I'm doing because I think the white would uh, be drowned out with the background. Um, and then I'm gonna take a one inch white bubble right here. Scrap, it could be a scrap piece. And then for the tongue, I'm gonna use a little end of a 350. So I'm gonna set this aside and let's start with your 260. You're going to inflate it all but an eight inch tail, or an eight, I'm sorry, an eight finger tail. And that's gonna be about six inches. Eight fingers is six inches. So you wanna make sure your balloon's nice and mushy. So make sure you let a nice puff of air out of this before you tie it. And to start, um, the first bubble is going to actually be, let me show you, the bottom lip right here. And then the second uh, pinch twist will be the nose. So we're starting with the bottom lip. So we wanna make all these pretty small, but I'm gonna make the bottom lip a little bit bigger than the nose. But this one is going to be about a three-fourths of an inch bubble about one finger but you might want to um, get a little measuring tape or something out so you can measure while you're doing this one you just want tiny bubbles so this is the bottom lip we're gonna pinch twist that and we're gonna pull this really tight and turn it about three or four times and then next, the next part is going to be this little um, lip. And we want this bottom lip close to the nose because they kind of have an overbite and their little mouths are close to their nose. So this is gonna be a little tiny bubble. I'll call it a micro bubble. So that's gonna be about a half an inch. And you're gonna twist that off. And now we're gonna do the nose and we want that a little smaller so that's going to be about a half an inch also this one's a little smaller than the nose um the middle of the lip this one is the nose and it's going to get pinch twisted so we're going to pinch twist the second one and just pull this tight when you turn it so it doesn't come out turn that three or four times and now we're going to do this part, which are the cheeks. And that part is going to be a two inch bubble, which is about three fingers. So two inches or a three finger bubble. And we're gonna make just like we would dog ears. They would look just like dog ears. So we have this. And then we're going to take this, this is the bottom lip, and we're going to tuck it in there to the other side. Right like that. And then we're going to bring the nose, which is now in the back, we're going to bring it around to the front. So we have this. I'm just I just shoved that out a little bit. Okay, and then the next part we're going to do is going to be this part and what we're gonna do for that is just make a little one inch bubble this is about like one and a half fingers <laughs> and then we're gonna make a little half inch bubble and pinch twist it now this is going to be the bow at the top of the head so if you want it a little bigger, you can make it a little bigger. I'm just trying to make the most of my balloon and get everything I can out of it. And the next uh, bubble we're going to make is a one inch bubble. And then a little half inch bubble. 
and pinch twist that. And then this is going to be on the neck and this is going to get rolled through the bottom of what looks like these ears. This is going to be this little bubble in the back here or it could be in the front if you want it to. So take this bubble, so you have this so far, the bottom lip, that little tiny half inch bubble, or quarter inch bubble, and then the, the nose, and then these two cheeks, and then this one, and then this little quarter inch bubble, and then, or half inch bubble, really it's a half inch, and then an inch bubble, half inch bubble, and then this uh, pinch twist gets tucked through the bottom right here. Just like that. You can just turn it so it stays. And now we're going to go up around the top of the head. So the next part we're going to do are these ears right here. And this is the little bow on the top. So what we're going to do is flick this because we want to curve the ears. And this is going to go right to the side. So I'm just holding this together and then when I get up here I just want to kind of wrap it so it's going to be about going to be about a five finger all together bubble. And I'm going to flick down here and then take it up to the top and wrap this little bow around. So it looks like this. I'm going to do the same thing down to the neck. Pinch twist on the neck. Go down here and when you get down here Flip that right like that. Then wrap it around. This little thing is just on the bottom. Well, the hard part is kind of done. <laughs> you just want to take these cheeks and tuck them back into the ear, right like that. The nose. And now, it, depending on what you want, you can make your dog sitting or you can make them standing. And you just want to give him little, they're about, it's about one and a half inches. It's about, it's about three fingers. Three finger bubbles, two, two three finger bubble legs. And you just want to twist those together. And then a little tiny bubble body, like a one inch bubble. And then two three finger bubble back legs. It's going to be close because we're running out of balloons. So there should be this little tiny tail left over. See these ones are different sizes because I must have put a little bit more air in them. So it doesn't matter. That's okay. So this is a little bubble on the end and then if you want your dog standing up, push this pinch twist to the back to keep the head forward. I'm going to tuck my cheeks back in. It also kind of looks like a bunny rabbit, but it's supposed to be a little shih tzu or a yorkie. And if you want, if you have enough room, you can pull these bottom lids open. <laughs> Usually. It didn't really pop, it just came undone. So I'm going to retwist it to show you. And if you don't want your balloon coming undone, you just take the tail and flip it through the loop right like that. I'm just going to roll this in so it could be sitting if you want to. I think I'm going to leave them standing up. And then let's um, tuck this in. I'll set this aside for a minute. And let's take your little um, piece, scrap piece of white one that's a one inch white bubble and split that right in the middle. Fold it up to the top and wrap that through, pull it snug, and tie it, and then twist it around and tie it. And give it a tug and then cut the ends off up above the knot. And then take your eyes and tuck them right under the back of this bubble. So 
couple of these. And then what we're gonna do is take a little scrap piece of a pink one. You can uh, cut a pink 260 in half and then cut around it if you want to. I just have these up here, so I'm gonna use these. Um, I'm just gonna cut and curve around this tip of this 350 like this. Open it up. It's a little bit of a big tongue, but it's okay. It'll look cute and I'm gonna tuck it in right like that. And sometimes they have their little tongue sticking out. I'm gonna tuck this in, sorry. But we'll just kind of tuck right in this bubble. Right like that. And then we're gonna decorate it. And to decorate it, I'm gonna draw little pupils in here. Just rest your hand on the balloon and draw the circle around. And then draw a circle around here. Give them some eyes. And we're gonna give them, they usually have like little eyebrows, so I'm gonna give them an eyebrow up here. And an eyebrow up here. And then I'm gonna draw a little bow on the top here. And I don't know where my red marker is, so I'm just gonna use a pink one tonight. Draw some little lines in the middle of the bow. I probably should have did that pink before I did the Sharpie, but you get the idea. That would be a good idea before you put the lines in the middle of the bow. Then you want to draw, you have like little shaggy cheeks. So I'm just going to draw that. Give them a little shaggy here, shaggy little hair there. I might have made that line too thick, but it's okay. And then we can give them shaggy little feet and some little shaggy ears. And just draw a little the zigzags here to make the shag on his ears. And then don't forget his little nostrils, his nose is turning. I just want to stay straight there for me. Give them little nostrils, they look like little commas. One's a backwards comma. And here is your little Shih Tzu or your little Yorkie. And there you go.